and welcome to episode 3 of our Interjour training video. In the last episode, we've learned that you can shoot in different shot sizes, long shot, medium shot and close up shot. If you string together shots of different sizes, you get a sequence. Let's see how that works. Our topic? Where to go for delicious Italian pasta in Hamburg. First, let's see what it looks like if we shoot the whole scene with one shot. Only one shot. You can see that it becomes quite boring after a few seconds. Almost as boring as the actual waiting in the restaurant. In real life, the guest waits patiently. But in a video, your audience might have lost their patience by now. To make it more interesting, our cameraman has to shoot more footage. Now we shoot the same action several times. First we add a long shot from outside. We already recorded the medium shot. Now we add a close-up of the food. We can shoot over the shoulder. This lets the viewer see what the guest is seeing. And finally, we try to find an unusual shot, a creative shot. This can be a long, medium or close-up shot, but from an unusual perspective. For each shot, you should plan to record for at least 15 seconds. Long shot, medium shot, close-up shot, over the shoulder and creative shot. If you take all five shots of every action, you will have no problem when it comes to editing. Let's try it out. The editing software lets you rearrange the clips that you've recorded with your camera. First, you have to download the files to the computer. There are dozens of editing programs on the market. The professional ones are very expensive. Cheap ones start at about 30 euros. There are free test versions for almost all of them. The idea is always the same. You mark the part of the picture that you want to use and drag it to what we call a timeline. You keep doing that with every further shot you want to use to build your sequence. For example, of someone eating a delicious pasta dish in Hamburg. Again, follow the five shot rule several times and you will have no problem in creating an interesting sequence like this one. As you can see, you only need five shots to tell a story. Experienced reporters and producers stick to the five-shot rule, because it ensures that you will get a nice sequence for each action. In the next episode, we will show you how to avoid the biggest problems when editing videos. Thanks for watching.